Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, I know I've slacked a little bit on the videos, but hopefully I can change that. I've just been busy. Obviously, you know I work in retail because I work for Nike. So, of course, this is a crazy time. Um, that's kind of died down now with Black Friday passing. And hopefully I can get um, some more time to make some videos. Um, now in today's video, I kind of just wanted to talk a little bit about football boots. So, um, to get started, as you can see, I'm wearing a, a Jordan shirt, uh, for those people who don't really connect Jordan with football yet, just because it's more of a basketball thing. Um, I do know PSG obviously is pushing hard with Jordan and getting, um, the, the Jordan logo branding on their jerseys and stuff like that. Uh, for me, my love for shoes or, or anything like that came from Jordan's first. Um, and then it went carried over to football boots. And that's just what I really like to do my um, reviews on more now than Jordan's because I started with that. But I feel like there's just, it's overdone. There's just a lot of people that do it. And people are kind of used to um, somebody who they go to for that stuff. So I feel like um, I couldn't really review those. Also, I don't really play basketball that much. I love to watch it. It's probably my number one sport. Um, I love to watch it, but obviously I play more football, soccer. Um, so uh, with that being said, I am excited for the Bread 11s. Those of you who are familiar with uh, basketball shoes, Jordans, uh december 14th those are dropping very special date of course um and i wanted to show you guys um uh, because i have started obviously customizing my football boots um i for the first time i did some uh regular shoes i did some jordans and i did two pairs um and i'm going to show them to you guys just so you guys can kind of see what i've been doing what because this this is taking a lot of my time actually one pair really took a really long time um, so let me show you guys what I've done. The first pair that I did, I have it right here. All right. So the first pair that I did, I just took, um, some Angelus, um, Tiffany or sorry, gift box blue is what it's called. And, um, uh, did the outline in this like blue, uh, colorway. And then I added the gold. These were all white. Um, and I got pretty good, um, feedback from, you know, I don't think this colorway has been done on a Jordan, not that I've seen or on a shoe in general. Um, so I kind of want to take this colorway and carry it over to a football boot, but that's more to come later. Um, so I've been trying to, um, shop around my customs and just getting people more, um, um, trusting me, I guess you could say, because I kind of want to do this, you know, as a side little job, I guess, you know, obviously I can't charge that much because I'm not that good, but it's something that I want to do. I really enjoy, um, painting. Uh, I, I never thought I would, I was, I hated art, anything like that related because I could just never stay in the lines. I can, I can't draw for anything, but somehow, um, painting just, I love it. You know, I love customizing. And if I could think of an idea and have someone else do it, that's great. But I don't have anybody that could do that. Um, and I kind of just got to create stuff on my own. So, you know, I said, what the heck? I'm going to do it. Um, this this concept, I thought about it before I even bought the paint. Obviously, I had the gold. If you saw my other customs, I had the gold. But for some reason, I just love the color gold. And then I love this color now on the gift box blue uh tiffany blue whatever you want to call it um and it just stuck in my head for a few weeks a few days and i was like you know i i kind of want to um i kind of want to uh, put that together and see what it'll look like and at first i didn't know about it. i didn't know if it was gonna go well um but you know i'm pretty happy with it turned out i wore my black friday i got a lot of people um, looking at my feet, obviously this is bright colors. I got a lot of compliments. Uh, I did a good job. Um, so yeah, and I got people, I think, trusting me, you know, to do their customs or, you know, at least letting me, 
uh, work my magic, I guess you could say, because, uh, you know, I really like putting colors together and, and something different. Um, so we'll talk about the colorways more a little bit later. And then my second um, custom that I did was a pair of Jordan 1s. Um, and these are the Chicago ones, except mine is just a white bottom. Um, it's very hard to um, paint the the sole on shoes um and i put white laces i could change them to black i have black um but just another custom that i got good feedback on that i did a good job um and this is a shoe that i never have been able to purchase um it always sells out and obviously i was too young to get the original pair so that was back in 85 so i don't own an original pair of these but i had this they're called the yin yangs yin yang jordan one where um this was all white and then they had one that was all black and i had this one i bought it for i got it for like 20 bucks because i had a gift card and then there was a sale at my nike so i had it sitting around and i was like let me just try to customize it and the hard part is this jordan logo my goodness let me tell you that is the hardest part you could do on a shoe um and actually looking at the camera they look really good on camera i will say that so um the red just pops out on the camera i don't know if it's the lighting or what but i'm really happy with the job that i did and like i said this was more for me just have me being able to know that i can customize and to take it over into um football boots and and stuff like that because it's a very big thing right now in the nba you know having um custom shoes so i mean i kind of want to have custom boots because nike doesn't give you all the options or a lot of options really that you can do when you do a nike id for your boots um so it's kind of something that i want to take over the boots and i don't know maybe gain some recognition for it um and 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 kind of push other people to do the same like you know a lot of people that see my customs you know i tell them you can do it too i want people to do it too you know because it's just gonna push the limits and make people be better and that's i guess a good thing i would say it's a good thing for me um okay so with that being said now uh, i want to talk a little bit about the phantom venom because i didn't get to talk about it, the tech craft um let me grab it we got it right here it is dirty i don't know if the the lighting is probably too bright to show but i did wear it i wore it one time i took it right out of the box and into a game and let me tell you it was actually a perfect fit for me better than the regular pair i don't know if it's the synthetic leather i know we talked i talked a lot about about that if it was real or not i don't know what it is but i can tell you that it is a very comfortable boot if these are available i would pick them up if i was you honestly it was they were so super super comfortable amazing everything felt just a little bit better than the original maybe because i i don't know if it was just a little bit more room that i felt i i can't describe the feeling but they just felt and you can see they molded to my feet already and like i said i only wore them for one game which is probably about 40 to 50 minutes i don't even i don't even know what the halves are um and right out of the box at first obviously everything feels a little bit stiff at first and then as you um you know heat up and and and, and play in them they just mold to your feet and this was just an excellent excellent feeling boot i i mean i can't put it above the mercurial um but it is an amazing boot now um i do want to maybe customize these i just don't know what color i'm going to customize them i probably want to make the swoosh i don't know the camera can pick it up if you've seen in other videos but i kind of want to make that a little bit brighter gold um i won't touch anything of that but just have that swoosh gold or maybe just fill it all the way in i'm not sure um i guess i could the only thing that would worry me is if it's not a real leather and now that i've dirtied it it's going to be hard to clean up and i don't honestly i don't know if i'm going to be able to do um, a good customization to it but that's not going to stop me from trying because they are mine and i really like this boot 
if you can get i'm telling you if you can get this one over the original the regular ones definitely go for this one i know it's all black and maybe that's boring to some people but you won't be you won't be disappointed that's for sure very good boot um better i would say above the techcraft mercurio i don't know why i don't know what the difference is but to me just an amazing boot that's all i can say all right so my next boot the mercurio techcraft talking about that now i did return these I'm, i wasn't lying about that i did return them because they just you know underachieved for me i guess it was it wasn't what i expected like i said this leather these are brand new just came in they smell it smells a little weird but again i'm going to customize these since it is a leather um that's why i repurchased them got them at a very discounted price they're on a discounted price right now so if you wanted these um now's your chance to pick them up um but yeah so my question to you guys then i guess is what colors should i do the vapor and the tech craft um let me show you guys so i was thinking about doing one this kind of light pink i don't know if you can see and then the gift box blue of course this is like my favorite color right now one of my favorite colors i always liked teal growing up aqua those things so this is like just the perfect thing so i'm definitely gonna do one in one with probably some gold maybe just black i'm not sure but i want to add some gold just because like that's my favorite color one of them and i think it just goes good with both of them um and here let me show you guys so you know today obviously they showed this shoe if you haven't seen it yet um this was given to i don't know the camera's probably not gonna pick that up let's see i think the light shining too but but there you go yeah the megan rapino rapino I don't know how to pronounce her last name correctly. Um, but Nike made those boots for her. And I have this pink laying around. So I'm like, should I just do the Mercurial pink and then do the Phantom Venom, this color? And as you can see, that shoe has some pink and gold. Beautiful shoe. Obviously, Nike's not going to release it. I don't know why. they should. The shoes they should release, they don't. And the ones they shouldn't, they do release. Someone needs to talk to them on headquarters at Nike over there, HR. I don't know um somebody but so i'm thinking if maybe i should do the mercurial in pink and then just do the phantom um venom in this um gift box blue uh, let me know what you guys think or vice versa but definitely i'm using these colors and one is going to come out watch i don't know what i think the mercurial will look good in the pink just because it's going to resemble a little bit obviously i can't black or pink out the bottom um of the the mercurial but I could probably get the top eh, similar. This might be a little bit um, light pink still, but you know, I could exchange and get another color, get a closer um, pink, but yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think I should do each shoe, but for sure they're not gonna stay black. And last but not least, I just wanna talk about real quick, my cheapest high-end boot that I have ever purchased and probably will ever purchase and I, this is the box it comes in those of you that are familiar with nike products you know this is a sample box and yep 59.99 um put that right there 59.99 um and then i had a 30 percent off plus another 30 percent off so that's very cheap and i couldn't pass up on them they are temple seven elite in the world cup women's world cup colorway uh the wolf gray um now many of you guys maybe the people who don't know what samples are samples are just shoes that they used um to uh kind of show around the product um so sometimes they don't even they're not even released but we get them once they have used them and some, every once in a while you can shop your store and you can get like a sample for very cheap and you all, you all, sometimes you get that luck that it's not going to release and then you have like a, a limited colorway or something. And uh, when I saw these, I didn't think they were the real ones because I have seen like the Academy or, or the pro version of these in, in Nike stores down here um, in, in, in Orlando. Um, 
so I didn't know if they were or not, but once you once you hold when you know what the elite is, what it's supposed to be, then you know that it's real. And then it comes with this um, name tag right there or the tag. So that shows right there proof that it is the elite. And this sticker in here is a sample sticker. Um, which lets the people in the register know that it goes with the box and it's someone that didn't switch them um, So yeah, I mean I got them for like 30 bucks and they're, they're a size 10 I do wear a 10 and a half, but I can wear the 10 in the, in the leather because it's gonna stretch a little bit So I don't mind that very light boot very good boot um, I don't know what else to say about it It's amazing if you didn't get a chance to try it and you can find them at your outlet or a clearance store definitely pick them up uh, but yeah, this was uh, my latest uh, pickup that I had um, and I'm excited to actually get to wear them because this is a $250 shoe, I believe, about $238, whatever, um, two something, $100 shoe and I got it for 30 bucks. So that's, that's really great. Um, I was thinking about giving it away, doing a giveaway, but right now I haven't had success with those with many people actually um trying to um do giveaways i don't know if people just don't believe me or what and plus it's a size 10 i don't know last time i tried to do a giveaway for a size 9 it didn't go too well so i don't know if the size 10 would be any better um so i'm gonna hold on to them for now um as long as i haven't wear them or as long as i haven't worn them then i could possibly do a giveaway um but then it doesn't come with the string bags so like people aren't gonna believe that they're real but they're they're 100 real like i said i showed you the tag the leather smells just like my other uh temple seven elites um you can always tell by the smell and that's why i don't like the tech craft or of the mercury or the venom because they don't have a leather smell um but i think this is gonna end the video i don't have nothing else to really talk about other than I just want to tell you guys thank you to all the new subscribers that have subscribed since I haven't made a video. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and I've been answering questions to a few people in comments and I appreciate that. I like um, answering questions. If you have questions, no matter what the video, go ahead and ask me. Um, but we'll see you guys in the next one with another video. Peace.